Using formulas in Excel table is easier because Excel allows to use column header names in calculation rather than cell numbers. The example worksheet has a table with the details of a company products and cost. If actual cost is manufacturing cost plus transportation cost, to calculate the actual cost, select any cell in the actual cost column. Type equal to, then press on left arrow key. You can see Excel displays the transportation cost column. Press on left arrow key one more time. Now you can see Excel displays the manufacturing cost column. Now type plus. and press left arrow key one more time to select the transportation cost. And if you hit enter, all cells in the column are copied with same formula to add manufacturing cost and transportation cost. In the formula, the at symbol means the current row. If you make a change to the formula, instead of plus, if you change to minus, then the formula is updated for all cells in the column. If you want to calculate total of a specific column of a table in a different cell, you can use the sum function and instead of giving the range of cells, you can give column header name. First, you need to know the table name. Click on any cell in the table and in Table Tools tab, under Properties group, you can see the table name. The default Excel table name is Table 1, but you can rename it to PRD cost or whatever the name you want. Now if you want to calculate the sum of actual cost column, select the cell where you want to display the total of actual cost column. Type equal to Type the function sum, open parenthesis, and give the table name PRD cost, open square bracket, and actual cost column. Excel shows the actual cost column, double click on it, it will select the actual cost column. Close the square bracket and close the parenthesis. If you hit enter now, you can see the total of actual cost column is calculated and displayed in the cell.